So we just wrapped up and we talked about sound pressure level. So this is an interesting area because, in fact, most people want this to be loud enough to listen to, right? No matter how great the quality of the speaker system is, if the fact is you walk away 12 inches and you can't hear it anymore, it's not going to satisfy you very much. So we want to look at this sound system in a way to say, what's the appropriate choice for us in our listening environment? So a lot of it is, is how close to the speaker am I going to be? Altec Lansing makes many uh, PC audio products like this where one might be putting this on the desktop and you'd be sitting really quite close. And because you're close, we don't need enormous amount of sound pressure level. But on the other hand, if you go out and you're looking at a product like this, which is really a partying piece, we want, may want to fill a very large room with sound. So we need to generate a lot more sound pressure level in order to fill the room up. The way to do that is to think about how much power, again, as we talked about last time, with watts, but also how easy or hard it is to drive the drivers, the speaker drivers here, to create that amount of sound pressure. Sound pressure level is measured in decibels. We talked about that earlier. Again, one decibel being the smallest amount of sound difference we can hear, and it's that amount of sound doubling every three decibels. Certainly, we want to reproduce enough sound pressure level to allow for full dynamics. The amount of sound pressure level generated by the speaker system is also going to be related to how close or far away to it we are. Meaning, if we're sitting way up close to the speaker like this, we can get a pretty loud sound with not an awful lot of power. But if we're going to try and fill the big room of sound, we need a lot more power for the person sitting 15 or 20 feet away to get the same effect, the same amount of sound pressure level. Again, we go back to the fact that these are systems. The systems are comprised of the speaker driver itself, the cabinet that holds it, and the electronics that drive it. They're all interrelated. The master of all of this is actually the sound that we're trying to reproduce. That sound requires the speaker to driver to move a certain way, and in order for the driver to move a certain way, it needs a certain amount of push by the motor, the speaker structure, and in order to do that, it needs power from the amplification circuit within it. So watts are related to the frequency response of the driver, which is related to the design of the speaker cone and driver and the design of the cabinet in which it sits, and it all outputs something which we want to have very fine, nice, even across all the hearing bands, remember 20 cycles to 20,000 cycles, at a sound pressure level high enough for us to enjoy the music the way we want. So again, are we trying to party? Do we want to feel the bass? Well, we need a larger sound system with more power. But if we're up close and intimate, or we simply want some sound on the go, we can certainly satisfy ourselves with much smaller drivers, with less power, because of the proper use. Again, the key to, to sound systems is not to look at the specifications except as a guide. What you need to do always is to select something you know you're going to listen to in an environment that you're going to listen to it, and then listen to the thing. That'll tell you a lot about it. So, if you're out shopping, you should ask yourself, and the people telling you about these products should ask you, where are you going to use it? What are your expectations? If you're trying to fill a big living room, you're going to be looking for a bigger sound system probably one with more sound pressure level, and that may require more power in watts to reproduce that. If you're going to do something that's up close and personal, you can probably use a smaller system, although you may want flexibility to do both. If you want to go sound on the go, well, now you're talking about an intimate system. A product like this can get away with only tenths of a watt. Yet, due to very nice and low resistance driver design, this thing can get actually surprisingly loud on a very little amount of power. It really only runs on AAA batteries. 
but yet it can produce a tremendous amount of sound. Would you use this to fill a concert hall? No, you wouldn't. You'd use something like this. But again, this would never be your expectation. So take a look at the specifications as a guide and to try and inform you, but always trust your ears and think about what it is you want to listen to and in what environment, and then the specifications will help you make a good choice.